Hi. Just a, uh, a late night video. We just uh, woke up after several hours of sleep and was thinking about my <clears throat> cone. And I read a few of the comments and I could be reading comments from 10 months ago though. But I just want to make clear what my issue is, my problem is. And I may ask Doug at uh, Metal Metal Works Machine Shop. I think that's right. He lives kind of close to me. He's a millwright and machinist, and it's kind of embarrassing to have to ask somebody to. So we're soaking here with uh, PB Blaster. We good experience with this stuff, breaking stuff free. But um, there's the situation. This is the knob that sticks out the front of the machine. You turn it clockwise, it pulls this cone into that concave gear. You can see I've been applying some heat to it. Probably too much. I'm actually going to scorch the paint over here on this side. Um, I did, in turn, get the shaft straightened a little bit, although I mean, you can't really tell from here, but there is a brass bushing down there with the threads in it. So, I just don't understand why this is so hard to get freed up. I'm going to keep soaking it. I have the socket that goes over here and has the pin to lock it in. And I can hook it up to my 3 8 drive impact driver. And I can hook up my half inch driver too. I'm at the point now where I'm ready to remake this shaft if I need to. That's not a problem. And if worse gets to worse, I'm going to let me get this one dropping it. Force gets to worse. I'm going to mill the bottom of that flat. Mill this surface off till I get to the bottom of the threads and uh, drill them out. Put a new rod in there with the new threads. I mean, what do I have to lose? Yeah, I've got nothing right now. This is, I have this, and this is irreplaceable. But uh, you can see the vice grip damage here from you know, trying to twist on that. But uh, I need more than vice grip, so I'm gonna turn this thing until, I wonder why that won't focus on that. This thing doesn't do a very good job of close-up stuff. You're supposed to be able to tap it. But, uh, there's a... Um, you know, I, I don't doubt that, that I'll rip this hole out, you know, with the impact driver. Let's see if we can get the light to shine down inside there. There you go. So that's my only issue. Um, other than that, I just need to figure out if there's three or four bolts holding this gearbox on. I imagine I can put my strap right around here and catch it when I release the bolts. Because that's coming off. All I have to do is take the top of this box off, let it swing. Three bolts, this comes off. This slides right off this gear. There's no other shafting going into that. So once that's off, all I have to do is figure out how to 
release this um, coupling going into the headstock. Remove the four cap head screws and they're around here somewhere. And this thing's going up in the air. There's no doubt about it. I might even scrape down the front of this and paint the, you know, at least just paint like, like from here down, just the front. Stuff that I won't be able to actually reach once everything's put back together. Um, I got that. Do I have anything painted gray? I thought I painted some of this gray. Oh, I painted the inside gray. Yeah, I could use that paint. It's that Rust-Oleum uh, brushed on. And the carriage lock. I think I see what you guys are talking about now by cutting some reliefs in that bar. Where's the bar? Because I've been cleaning that bar a bit. And I... Let me bring it in here. So, I guess I'm, I'm seeing that they want to make this part here flexible enough that it'll, let's focus now. That this tab can actually flex and come up and put pressure on the bottom of the ways. And I think if I, I think I can take some more See how deep they went, but they still left a lot of material. See, it looks like they started shallow there and went deep all the way down. And then they came inside, didn't quite go deep, but then they came in deep here, so. Um, maybe if I expand on that just a little bit, because obviously it's not flexing enough to lock it up, but there's a start. And wouldn't that be lovely to have that screw um, working as a carriage lock? It was always curious to me when I, uh, you know, when I first time I took this machine apart what in the heck did they do that for you know why is that not there that, that, that square head screw square head flange screw we're not going to talk about my electricity it is very mysterious okay I guess I should go back to bed now I just wanted to uh, make it clear what my task is. I don't need anybody spending a whole lot of time giving me a whole lot of advice on something that I don't need to do. Yeah, that's pretty clear, isn't it? Um, looks, like the, looks like the dog is comfortable. He found, he found the spot. Why well, won't this thing focus? There it is. Once it focuses, man, what a great picture. Okay. I'm off to bed.